Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my March beauty favorites. Now I feel like I should stop doing favorites because they just give me intense anxiety because the months are just traveling by and me like doing every month favorites just like reminds me that like it's now April. Like wasn't, I, I can't even, I can't even. Anyways, if you are new to my channel, this video is all about the makeup and skincare and random stuff I have been loving for the entire month of March. Summer new products, summer old favorites, summer repurchases, what have you. I will discuss them all today. So yeah, if you wanna see what I've been loving for the last month, then just keep watching. I went traumatic, dra not traumatic, dramatic today with my makeup. I was wearing this like band tee and I was just feeling like I wanted to do something crazy. So the details will be up on my Instagram. And if you do not already follow me, follow me on Instagram to not miss out on all the details of this makeup look, duh. So, okay, let's just get right into this video. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, one mascara, I've been loving drugstore mascara. This is the new Maybelline Total Temptation. The normal one has a pink bottle, but I like the waterproof, and it comes in a blue bottle. Now, the normal one smells like coconut. This one does not smell like coconut. This one just smells like waterproof. It is a natural bristle brush, just kind of like your average Joe brush, but what I like about this is you can apply like thousands of layers and it doesn't get thick or clumpy. It really just fans out your eyelashes and gives you a lot of volume and a lot of lift without looking overdone. So it just, I don't know, I think that's what their marketing campaign is. It's like soft lashes. So they're still dramatic and with the waterproof, they keep my eyelashes lifted because that's really important to me. My eyelashes hang down. So they give you lift, but like I just apply coat after coat after coat and it just builds so beautifully without ever looking clumpy because it's a very dry formula. The only thing I will say is like this does dry up after like two months. So you have to repurchase it more, but just get it when it's on sale and you can't really go wrong with that. So I've been using this, I would say for like two months straight. This is already my second bottle of this. So I love it. Another thing I want to mention, a new product to me is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. You have probably seen this all over Instagram and for good reason. It is just a gorgeous everyday neutral palette. Um, Anastasia, Anastasia has been a little bit hit or miss. People have complained about like the subculture, but these are a great formula. There are a lot of mattes, there are a lot of shimmers, and they're all just in that kind of warm, dusty rose gold shade, shade range, which is just perfect for every day. I'm not wearing it today, obviously, but yeah, I've really been getting a lot of use out of it. Actually, all these matte shades are what I have in my crease today. Um, they're very warm, um, so if you like cool tone, this is probably not the one for you, but there is a pink. But yeah, like I love orange soda, burnt soda, sienna, gorgeous. The metallics are so intense and beautiful. The black is beautiful. This dusty rose color. You can literally do a matte eye with this as, with like any of these as the eyeliners, or you can do like a dark smoky eye, you can smoke out with the black. It's just really, really great. Um, kind of just like your gorgeous glam palette. It's... Oh my God. Two eyeshadows just fell out. Are you kidding me? Hold the phone. Oh no, it broke. Okay, so now the brush fell out. Be careful with this guy, the things fall out. Oh, I probably wanna return it now. Anyways, um, no, just return and get a different one, that just happens, the glue is not good enough. But anyways, I have been loving this palette and wearing it a lot. A highlighter I wanted to mention um, is by Maybelline again, and this is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Looks like this. Um, I know everyone went crazy for the Molten Gold, and I have that one, and I love that one. It's so messy. Um, but this one just looks better on fair skin tones. Now, in the pan, it looks very pink. Even in person, it looks more pink. But actually, on the cheeks, I'm not wearing it today. I should have put it on. On the cheeks, it just looks gorgeous if you have fair skin. It doesn't look pink. It just looks like a soft, like, ivory champagne color. It is so stunning. It is, like, very metallic, very intense, very noticeable, but it gives you that wet, dewy look. So if you want, like, a nighttime 
uh, highlighter and you're fair and maybe like the, the molten gold one was a bit too much, try the rose gold. It will not disappoint. It gives like a rosy glow to your cheeks, but it won't look like pink. It doesn't look like a pink highlighter. Um, it just looks gorgeous. So definitely test this one out. One thing I had in just a little sample, look at this little thing. I think I got it, I don't know, Sephora something or other sample. This is the Smash... <laughs> Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer in one. So this is just a little sample. Um, I've been loving this. My skin has been crazy dry. I don't know if it's the winter or I've started using um, retinols, but my skin has been so dehydrated and so dry. And it's funny because the ingredients in this are hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. In the morning, I actually applied to my face in serum form hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and zinc and I put that all over my face but I just find like it's not enough and when I go to do my makeup my skin still feels so dry so I have been applying this and it works so well it is so hydrating even if you're like a lazy girl and you don't want to like moisturize and prime just use this and it will be enough to like get it all done which is pretty amazing so you just like slap this on your face and then put on makeup um so yeah, that's kind of why I like it. Even on like quick makeup days, lazy days, just using this. Or if I've done my moisturizer or whatever, even putting this on as well on top. It's so thin so it like doesn't cake up under makeup. And I just like really, really like the effect it gives. You look hydrated and plump without looking like shiny or glowy. So it would even be good for people with oily skin. It's just great. I need to get the big one. Couple skincare things. Um, this is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate 12.5% Vitamin C. They just launched this. This is what the bottle looks like. And I really, really like it. Um, I've been in integrating vitamin C into my skincare. And this one has definitely won in terms of a vitamin C serum. This is a serum, so actually when you put it on, it completely absorbs into your skin, it dries down, and then I either go put an oil on top or a moisturizer on top, and I've just noticed a difference in my skin. Um, overnight, really, it just looks bright. Um, the texture has really helped since using this and more just the brightness really for me. My skin just looks healthier and smoother and I can definitely feel it when I wake up that it just feels smoother and looks brighter. So if you're looking for a vitamin C serum that's good for anti-aging, then this one is really, really good. Another skincare, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. And this is the blue cap. There's like a pink cap and a green cap. So the blue cap is actually for waterproof makeup. It's like a two-in-one. So this has like a double, it's like oil in the micellar water. I need to shake it up. But this is what the bottle looks like, if you can kind of see it there. I love this. This is my favorite micellar water. I've tried the L'Oreal. I've tried Bioderma. I've tried the Belief one. This is my favorite micellar water, and this is my favorite eye makeup remover. This actually does remove waterproof makeup. Now, I use a cleansing oil to remove my makeup, but if I didn't want to, like if I need to like touch up little spots with like a Q-tip, I use this, or if I'm just really lazy, I put this on a cotton pad and take off my eye makeup. It won't take off like 100% of your waterproof mascara, but this will get pretty damn close. So if you hate waterproof mascara because it's hard to get off, try this stuff because it pretty much removes everything and it's from the drugstore, it's really cheap. Get it on sale and yeah, this is by far my favorite micellar water. A hair care item I wanna mention, this is the IGK Expensive. It's expensive to be made. Alma Oil High Shine Top Coat. Now this is kind of funny. I didn't really know what it was when I first got it. But basically, like a top coat for nails, UV protecting glaze instantly transforms hair. So basically you use this instead of a conditioner. So you use it after shampooing when your hair is wet. Use one to two times per week in place of your conditioner. I love my hair on this. I've been having some issues with my hair and breakage and everything and it's really been growing and I've really been trying to just get that hydration and that shine back into it and yeah I think it looks good um I really love this I just notice a difference like right when I blow dry my hair it just feels silky silky soft and definitely very shiny um I really really enjoy it and I only use it maybe like every other time I wash my hair and I don't wash my hair all the time but like yeah my hair definitely is shiny um, 
so I like this. I like this a lot. Um, it's a small tube and I've used a lot of it already, but I guess because you're not using it every time you shampoo, it's just like an extra treatment. Um, so if you want super shiny hair that looks expensive, then get this one. On to some lipsticks and then we're done. This, what I'm wearing on my lips today is the Maybelline New York. Superstay Matte Ink. They just came out with a bunch of new shades to like in their unnude collection. And this is the shade Seductress. So the bottle looks like this. It is a liquid lipstick and this is kind of like a peachy nude, which I don't normally go for, but I'm kind of digging it and I've been wearing it a lot with a lot of different eye looks. Um, it's got a really nice pointy doe foot applicator that allows you to get right into the lip line and right around the corners. The only thing I will say about this is definitely like wipe off the brush and use a really thin layer because it can get a little bit chunky if you put too much on. So like honestly really like wipe off the brush just use a thin layer and even to let it lasts a pretty long time. Nothing crazy. Um, but if you need to reapply, kind of like try to wipe it off a little bit and then reapply. Cause again, if you're putting tons and tons of layers, it does build up and it does get a little chunky just to warn you. But for the drugstore, for the color, it feels really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel drying. I really, really like this one in Seductress. One thing that I'm a little bit late to, late to the party, is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is a universal lip luminizer. Looks like this. Really cool packaging. It has a huge doe foot applicator. Can you see that there? It smells so good. It smells like watermelon and like peaches and it tastes good, it smells good. It is just such a gorgeous color. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it over lipstick. It is universal. This color looks good on everybody because it's not a wash you out nude. It's just like got more of that peachy brown color. It's got a kind of goldy silver shimmer all the way throughout it so your lips look really plump and juicy and it just like feels so comfortable. It's not sticky, it's just smooth. One swipe and you're done. It smells good, it tastes good, and it looks good. And I think everyone needs this in their life. And I don't even wear a lot of gloss. And so for a gloss to impress me says a lot. And the last product I want to talk about is not new, but it is new to me. And it is a lipstick by MAC in the shade Midi Mauve. You've probably seen it all over my Instagram, but I absolutely love it. This is a luster formula. So it's just no nonsense. It has a little bit of shine and it's a little bit more sheer than the normal MAC lipsticks. So you just apply it. You don't even need a mirror. It gives you shine. And this is just like the perfect everyday pinky mauve color like I just love that like that is my perfect everyday shade if you like pinky rosy mauve colors this is the one for you it is no nonsense just a great everyday lipstick and I pretty much grab it every single day because it looks natural but really really pretty so I love it and that was everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave, and let me know in the comments down below what you have been loving for the last month. And without, no, that's not what I say. And that's it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.